Shalawan, I'm going to start giving all praises due to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Rakar Kadar, respect and honor to all your apostles and teachers out there pushing this word. Salutations to you brothers laying your life down on the front line to preach this gospel of peace, the gospel of truth, glad tidings. And welcome to another episode of Glad Tidings Ministry. This is Prince Shemai Basar. This one is called the Reception. So I'm going to go over a couple of scriptures on a refreshing. And this is due to Isaiah. Where is it at? Isaiah. 28 verse 12 Isaiah 28 verse 12 and I must read this from the NL, NLT but you can read on the left side of it the KGV and it says the most high has told his people here is a place of rest let the weary rest here. This is a place of quiet rest, but they would not listen. So what is the place, the place of rest? And I did a video earlier, only a five minute video on the conditions of our people for where I work at. And um, a lot of them are homeless and the name of that video is what would you do? What would you do? If this was you, what would you do? So, we have the remedy. Like, there's a remedy always for every situation. And when it's concerning our people, the remedy is what? The refreshing of our spirits, the refreshing of our soul. And how do we get that? And that's through the scriptures. It's not just a um, regular book. It is a book of light. It refreshes you. And it gives you, um, and it's a credible book, the most credible book ever in the world. And the most beautiful thing about that, it's our book. It's our book. Negro book. So-called Latin, so-called black man, so-called men island of the sea, the nation of Israel, our people. Different shades of color. This is our book. And this was supposed to give us a a beacon of light and hope in a time of darkness is a time of um, trouble, which we are coming upon. Jacob's trouble um, that the world had never seen before. And we have to ask ourselves, are we ready? So let's read that again. Isaiah 28 and 12. God has told his people, here is a place of rest. Let the weary rest here. This is a place of quiet rest, but they will not listen. So this is a place of quiet rest, but we would not listen. We want to do our own thing. And this is the antidote. So what happens without an antidote? Or that scriptures that says without a vision, the people perish. Without an antidote, you'll die. You're going to be broken down. You're going to be really sick. Mm-hmm. So... But and then it says in the KGV, to whom he said, This is the rest, wherewith you may cause the worry to rest, and that this is the refreshing, yet they were not here. So let's go on that word refreshing. And to me, what brings a corner to my mind, the refreshing is when it says, You are a new creature when you come into your house, shot. You are a new man. Then it goes to, it makes me wonder about 1 Corinthians 5 and 7 when it says purge out the old leaven so the whole lump don't be um, messed up. You're going to get that. And this is called refreshing. Strong's H, 4774. Mad Gay Ah. Mad Gay Ah. 
And it says rest, repose, place to rest. Because if you really think about this when you're talking spiritual and you're not thinking carnal, where's the place to rest for you? Down here, O nation of Israel, O nation not desire, according to Zephaniah. I believe two on one, gather yourself together, O nation not desire, before the decree comes, before the Most High's judgment comes upon his people first and foremost, because the Lord said he's going to shift the house of Israel first. That means we're going to get it first. Okay, so it's the refreshing. Okay, arrest, habitation. A tranquil habitation. Okay, let's see if we can get a little bit more out of this. Strong's H7280. Rage. Rage. And it says to rest, to give rest to, to rest, to repose, to act in an instant, stir up, to rest or repose, be at rest or repose, settle, quiet, give rest. Suddenly broken, ease, moment. Okay, a primary root properly to towards violently and suddenly, the sea with waves, the skin with boils, figuratively in favorable manner, to settle, quiet, specially, um, specifically to wink from the motion of the eyelids, break, divide, find, ease, be a moment, be a moment, cause to give, make to, rest, make suddenly. All right, so... It's a beautiful thing. Now the next one we got. I'm going to turn this on for a minute. Next one we got is. Isaiah 11 and 10. Let's go to that. Isaiah. A precept. Isaiah. Right. Isaiah 11 verse 10 and I like to read it for the NLT but I have the on the left side the KGV so if you got something to say look on the, the left side it says um, 11 and 10 it says in that day the heir to David's throne will be a banner of salvation to all the world the nations will rally to him and the land where he lives will be a glorious place. Go ahead in 11. And that day the Lord will reach out his hand a second time, a second time to bring back the remnant of his people. That's why we tell you this is only for the elect. A remnant of his people, those who remain in Assyria and northern Egypt and southern Egypt, Ethiopia and Elam and Babylonia, Hamath and all the distant coastlands. He will raise a flag among the nations and assemble the exiles of Israel. Amen. He will gather the scattered people of Judah from the ends of the earth. Amen. That's it. Okay. Now let's go to... Isaiah 30, 15. <clears throat> Isaiah 30, 15. This is what the Sovereign Lord, the Holy One of Israel says. Only in returning to me and resting in me will you be saved. Did you hear that? That's deep. This is what the sovereign Lord, the Holy One of Israel said. Says. <clears throat> this is what Yahweh, the Heavenly Father says. For this is what the sovereign Lord, the Holy One of Israel says. Only in returning to me and resting in me will you be saved. And quietness and confidence is your strength. But you will have none of it. You said, no, we will get our help from Egypt. That's like Egypt is simultaneously 
um, uh, uh, Israel, um, is, um, Egypt is relating to America, Babylonia, Babylon, Babylon, I'm sorry, okay, these are places of not rest, these are places of hardship, bondage, these are place, uh, places where we are been oppressed, okay, and it says, and, and it says, another scripture, it says that, go get your help from Egypt, but we, some put their hope in chariots and horses, but we put our hope in the most high. Okay, so what, look what does it say? You said, no, we will get our help from Egypt. They will give us swift horses for riding into a battle, for riding into the battle. But the only swiftness you are going to see is the swiftness of your enemies chasing you. See that? So that's Isaiah 30 and 15. We got to read that again, man. I want you to meditate on that. Ponder over that. This is what the sovereign Lord, the Holy One of Israel says. Only in returning to me and resting in me will you be saved. And quietness and confidence is your strength. But you have none of it. Right? Because you don't have your faith in the Most High. You're doing the only... This is what you're doing. Okay, so this is what we got to do. He said, you ain't going to get no rest until you rest in me. And this is why the condition we were in, too. We're not even seeking in the most high. I did a video that I said, what would you do? How would you be at? You know, we could be homeless. You know, day to day, don't know where you're going to get a nice place rest. You know, you or even in jail, like when you in jail, them hard beds and stuff like that. Where you going to get a place of rest at? And we about this is this is bondage for us. This is hardcore. This is slavery again. But this time without the chains. And first, the real slavery is in your mind. All these doctrines that they gave to us, the doctrines of devils. Give me Jeremiah six and sixteen. Jeremiah six and sixteen. It's not going to be long. I'm going to make it quick. Jeremiah six and sixteen. And it says, this is what the Lord says. Stop at the crossroads and look around. Ask for the old godly way and walk in it. Travel its path and you will find rest for your souls. But you reply, no, that's not the road we want. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that's not the road we want. Read it again. This is what the Lord says. Stop at the crossroads and look around. Ask for the old godly way and walk in it. Travel its path and you'll find rest for your souls. But you reply, no, that's not the road you want. Oh, this is deep. Give some more meat. I have posted watchmen over you, or, or, over you who said, Listen for the sound of the alarm. And you know, watchmen in the old ancient days that it would give a warning to when the enemies come. So we're the watchmen for the modern day our people today, spiritually, given the prophets and poetic judgment that's supposed to come to this to America, who you ignorantly call um which is spiritually called Babylon and Egypt. Okay? Where where bondage is at, where, where hell is at, where we catch a hell at. So we the watchmen and say, get gather yourself together, O nation not desire. Get yourself right before the Lord decree come. But they said we don't want to walk that way. We want to do our own thing. Okay, keep it on. Okay, let's keep going. This is beautiful. Start at 17 again. I posted watchmen over you who said, listen for the sound of the alarm. But you replied, no. We want, we won't pay attention. Therefore, Listen to this. All you nations, take note of my people's situation, of my people's situation. Okay? I will bring disaster on my people. Look at that. It is the fruit of their own schemes because they refuse to listen to me. They have rejected my word. There is no use offering me sweet frankincense for, from Sheba. Keep your fragrant 
calamitous important from distant lands. I will not accept your burnt offerings. Your sacrifice has no pleasing aroma for me. Get out. See, and that's what the Lord has said. Obedience better than sacrifice. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. I will put obstacles in my people's path. What? Therefore, the Lord's, therefore, this is what the Lord says. I will put obstacles in my people's path. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. I will put obstacles, stumbling blocks in my people's path. Fathers and sons will both fall over them. Neighbors and friends will die together. That's it, man. Jeremiah 6 and 16 go all the way. Let's read on. Now, let's go to the remedy that I first gave you, the remedy that the Lord is telling you. Let's go to Matthew 11, 28. Matthew 11, 28. Then Yahweh has said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry and heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Rest. Let's go to weary. I know what it means, but let's just break it down. Strong's G, 2872. Copiao. 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 It means to grow weary, tired. Aren't we tired? Anybody in their right mind, tired. Your, your job is not giving you enough rest. I mean, your job is not giving you enough pay. You got to work ultimate hours. The family value is diminished. Okay, there's no family now at home. Spirituality is non-existence. Okay? The family is breaking up. They got two mommies. You know what I'm saying? Two daddies. We got bestiality at an all-time high. We got all these wicked things. And what happens is... People know that they're supposed to change their life, but they're willing to, to not change their ways. They're willing to say, I want to walk this path. That's what they're saying. And it says, it says to labor with wearisome effort to toil you. So the people are tired. We're tired. I'm tired. All the, 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 the God's, the Lord's anointed ones, they're like, they're tired. That's why we're prophesying against this place. I'm tired. I know I don't know about you. I'm tired. And that's why we want to get out of here. Yep, we're going to wake to the Lord, crack the sky open, and we want to get out of here. That's where our faith comes in at. Because there's no hope out here. What? What is hope? I remember when before when we was young, you would say that they would groom our minds to go to college, get this doctrine, education. You got to be rich. You got to have a house and all that other stuff. When you reach those carnal things, where's the peace of mind in you, the quietness? Where's that place of rest? That's why you have millionaires that have all this money and they still kill themselves and hurt themselves because there's always something missing. Or you might have, like, for instance, a, a illustration of a woman. You give her everything. You're trying to make her happy and she's still never satisfied. There's no place to rest. They, they still, there's something void in their spirit. And that's this word. It's something void in their life. And that's this word. They just can't get it right. And we're showing you, the Lord is showing you how to get it right. But they say, we don't want to walk that path. We want to do our own thing. As I brung out in the scriptures, brung out earlier. That's a damn shame. So to grow weary, tired, exhausted. So you tired on your feet hurt and you just feel like damn tired. Spiritual tired. No rest. Go ahead. Let's get out of this. And then it says... Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your soul. See, the body needs um, its rest, but the soul needs its rest too. And how does the soul get quenched? How does the soul get hydrated? We're so busy doing carnal things. Oh, my body's tired. My body needs this. I'm aching. But you never thought about your spirit is hungry. Your spirit needs nourishing. Okay? Your spirit needs to be fed. 
your conscience, all of that, your spirit needs to be fed. What's feeding that? Remember it said man is not supposed to live on bread alone, but on every utterance of the most high. That's the scriptures, because the scriptures are alive. That's why the scripture says, Yahweh shall say, who you ignorantly call Christ, says, I come in the value of the book, it is written of me. Amen. 29, take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear and the burden I give you is light. Amen. Come on, man. This is the refreshing. We got to refresh our souls. The refreshing. Let's go back to that. The refreshing. Amen. Shalom. That's it. The refreshing. 